Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Sudhir. I am uh, Diploma Anesthesia and DNB Anesthesia and I have done my fellowship in uh, pain medicine. Uh, today I will be uh, taking a class on uh, or telling some points, important points about migraine. Now this is one of the most important uh, uh, topic you need to listen to this and uh, you need to concentrate upon this because it is going to decrease a lot of uh, tension and stress which is there inside you regarding headache and migraine now migraine uh, it's not like uh, you only have it or we only have it we start to feel like that uh, that we are the only ones who are suffering with this because the pain of migraine is so bad that uh, a person makes it very personal uh, to himself or herself so uh, don't worry we will take care of this we will slowly give knowledge about that and uh, that will help you a lot in coming over it okay now first of all it is a chronic neurological disorder okay it's one of the second most type of uh, primary headaches out of all the types of headaches primary and secondary and there are lots of divisions uh, it is one of the second most common and in India you won't believe this is an average 10 to 15 percent of the population are affected and uh, coming across we we'll go to the next slide yes um, most of the cases you can see before puberty in boys and girls and uh, usually women tend to be more affected than men and uh, in the next slide we'll be telling about uh, signs and symptoms okay uh, it presents as a sudden severe headache sometimes or a, a feeling of a headache almost getting up to you it is catching up to you you get a feeling that like that that's aura and with the autonomic symptoms we'll get back to what what are autonomic symptoms and severity uh, depends upon and varies between patient to patient and duration of the headache also differs uh, frequency is also variable so severity frequency and duration and there will be phases in this uh, and a migraine which lasts more than 72 hours is called as status migrainus. Okay. And there are four phases in this prodrome, aura, pain phase, and postdrome. So there is prodrome, aura, pain phase, and postdrome. And during this prodromal symptom, prodrome period, let's come to prodrome period, it occurs 40 to 60 percent of the migraine patients, and most of the you know, usual features which we see during this period is altered mood, irritability, and psychologically patient become depressed, and certain sometimes in extreme cases the patient may even try for or a suicide. Or it may be easy, I mean, small stuff like stiff muscles around the neck, dizziness, uh, ringing ears, and some of the other symptoms like urination or vomiting, like that. Sometimes uh, visceral symptoms also occur. And now you can come to other features is that patient's headache can be for several hours to days. Now sometimes. Uh, the days when the headache starts and goes on for days together uh, then it becomes uh, a very important uh, uh, stuff and uh, patient needs to be observed in the hospital also other than uh, not um, being admitted also now aura you know, it occurs about in 30% uh, of the patients you can tell and uh, it comprises of a focal neurological phenomena I mean it's focal it, it's 
relevant to each patient you my aura is different and aura for you is different perception of aura for me is different and for you is different so it it all depends but aura is a phase where the patient can slowly develop a psychologically he gets affected a patient who is having the recurrent aura will actually uh, have some psychological features because that causes has got chance of causing high depression uh, this usually appears over 5 to 10 minutes and generally it lasts for more than 60 minutes also now coming to pain phase which is a third phase uh, usually unilateral slowly becomes bilateral and involves complete part of the head uh, minimi eyes or maxillary area sometimes mandibular sometimes some patients near the nose also the present and near the ears also uh, this pain usually is described usually in textbooks and in, in order to explain it to patients unilateral throbbing and moderate to severe the pain is not like they be crying like some patients come with like they they cry and they, they show the tendencies they tell that they want to want to live you know that's all uh, depending on the patients but on a pain score uh, it is moderate to severe around 6 to 8 not all the features which we have described need to be present in all the patients it all varies with all the patients and we have to clinically see the patient after asking the questions we have to decide what it is what type of migraine it is what treatment need to be given like that so this is what don't worry all this can be handled there are various ways in which this can be handled so pharmacology for non pharmacology there are various ways we'll discuss about it and uh, we'll help from our side all the things that can be done to you okay the onset is usually gradual the pain which occurs during this phase usually peaks that means it increases a lot usually for 10 hours to 72 hours the frequency we really can, uh, cannot tell that uh, when it occurs like after once in 3 days once in 4 days people have have completely 30 days in a month completely every day 24 by 7 they have a you know pain headache uh, and the head pain is greatly variable in the areas which get involved and post trauma so the effect of migraine may persist for some days after the main headache is the over many sufferers the report of sore feeling some report impaired thinking and for days after the headache they are depressed they feel like doing suicide they tell others that i don't want to live so uh, it's up to the relatives also others also to take care of the patients it's our responsibility okay and uh, after the feature of uh, you know attack of uh, migraine is over it's like a hangover the patient will have uh, some people uh, very after the pain decreases they take a long rest so this is what uh, uh, regarding migraine the four phase of migraine we have discussed now uh, next time we'll go for the rest of the what are the classifications what to do when to do and what to avoid in migraine i'll tell you in the next session thank you thank you